I'm uh, State Representative Tom Cochran. I represent the 67th District, which is parts of Lansing and uh, the remainder, a lot of the rest of rural Ingham County. And I'm pleased to be joined today by Brandon Dillon, representative from the Grand Rapids area, <clears throat> who serves as a Democratic point person on the House Appropriations Committee. Tomorrow, the state budget heads to the House floor and will be voted on this week. Over the last several months, Republicans have been insistent upon spending $134 million for brand new office spaces for their legislative offices. These offices are barely 50 yards from their current location. When House Democratic leader Tim Grimo asked the Secretary of the Senate if the reason for this move was so that senators could get a better view of the Capitol, she replied, pretty much. Let me be clear. There's no justification for spending $134 million on new offices for our legislators, which amounts to a massive amount of $3.5 million per senator. $3.5 million per senator. No reason at all, period. The idea is that senators need a better view or because their current space is 50 yards further away or, or the fact that they might consider it a little bit dated this is outrageous to the families of the state of Michigan who've been asked to sacrifice during these difficult times. It's outrageous to students that are struggling in subpar classrooms. It's outrageous to everyone concerned about building a stronger middle class here in the state of Michigan. We demand that Speaker Cotter and Senate Leader Alan Mikoff strip this project from the budget altogether and the Senate stay in their current perfectly fine offices. Failing that, we call on the governor to veto any budget that contains this outrageous $134 million expense on Senate office space. Michigan faces budget deficits, underfunded schooling, and a middle class that is getting squeezed from every corner. There is no justification for this lavish expense. Let's put our priorities back where they belong on the people of Michigan and get to work to building a stronger middle class and stronger schools. I'm proud to introduce us Representative Brandon Dillon from Grand Rapids. Thanks, Tom. I'm going to put my glasses on. Sorry, it's my birthday. I'm getting a little older. So, uh, my name's Brandon Dillon, and it's often said budgets are a statement of your priorities. When Republicans talk of spending 134 million dollars on new state senate offices, let's take a minute and look at what that actually means. When you break it down, it means spending over $3.5 million per senator. $3.5 million for each office, for each senator. Think about this. For the absurd price of $3.5 million, we could buy each and every state senator a Hollywood mansion like The Rocks, pictured here. Or uh, Taylor Swift's mansion, valued at $2 million. We might be able to stretch and even get a Katy Perry $5 million mansion or a Matthew McConaughey mansion for $4 million for each state senator. The state could buy the Palace of Auburn Hills, which would have cost $140 million in today's dollars, and put the 38 state senators there. For a little bit more, we could buy the Pacific Princess Cruise Line or the Ocean Princess Cruise Liner for a mere $150 million, park it in the Grand River, and how's the state senate there? If this sounds absurd, it's because it is. The idea of spending $134 million on offices for state senators is the definition of absurd and must be opposed and should be stripped from this budget. Legislators, despite what they may think, are not celebrities. They're public servants. They're here, they should be here to work for the people of Michigan, not the other way around. And I'll hand it over back to Representative Cochran to talk about how this money could be better spent on other priorities. Thank you, Brandon, and, and happy birthday. The idea of spending $134 million on state Senate offices is absurd. As Representative Dillon said, a budget is a statement of what your priorities are. Let's take a minute and think about what we could do with $134 million if Republican priorities were elsewhere. For $134 million, we could hire over 2,176 teachers based on the average salary of $61,000. This is from the Department of Education, the Sources, and the Mackinac Center. 
We can pay full cost for over 5,000 students at Michigan State University. 5,000 students at Michigan State University based on MSU tuition and room and board. We can help close the budget deficit that we're facing. Or we can restore some of the tax cuts that were taken away from Michigan's middle class and working families. Clearly, there are many better choices that we could spend $134 million on than new offices for our state senators. Let's do the right thing, drop this ridiculous idea, and do the job that the people sent us here to do. And I'll hand it back over to Brandon to wrap this up. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. And let me just repeat, as the budget comes to the House floor this week, House Democrats are determined to strip this $134 million boondoggle, this waste of new resources, precious resources, for new offices for state senators. It, this might be a great sweetheart deal for the developer behind this project, but it's not in the best interest of the people of our state. Our schools deserve better, our middle class families deserve better, and the people of Michigan deserve better. 